Good evening, Living Waters. This is our nightly time of prayer together, 618. Give people a couple minutes to come on here. Tonight we'll be using the prayers that were sent to me. Um, some site, I forget the name, of course now I can't find it, but it's a more modern uh, prayer set tonight. So they, they have a bunch on there, so we're going to use some tonight. We'll probably save some others for another night. Um, but yeah, I thought that would be a nice different voice of prayer. Hello, Anita. A uh, different voice of prayer this evening. Like I said, we're trying to get different types of prayers and expressions of faith uh, as we do this. So this will be a, a good one. <clears throat> Let's see. All right. As always, if you have prayer requests, they can be in the comments section. Let us pray. Parenting God, I've never felt so alone. I could never have imagined facing something like this, and I'm afraid. Please remind me that you are with me. Allow me to feel your presence. Remind me that as your child, you have not given me a spirit of fear. Remind me that I can trust you with whatever may come. Or oh, this isolation is overwhelming. I know I could pick up the phone and call someone, but I don't want to be a burden. Please help me to have concern for others above myself. I know I'm not the only one feeling lonely. Give me courage to reach out and offer encouragement to others. Hear our prayer. God, I've never really talked to you before. Are you really there? Can you really hear me? I know people who claim to know you and they don't seem as afraid as I do. I don't want to be so afraid. If I knew you were real, I want to trust in you. You help me believe. Will you help me open my eyes and my heart to you? Will you give me faith to believe you and to trust in you? If I'm stuck at home, would you please guide me? to learn about you. I want to know that you're real and I want to know the comfort that you give your people. Hear our prayer. Lord, I admit fear of the unknown. I fear how others will act in this time of uncertainty, how long it will last, and not knowing what the world will look like for myself, for my family when this is all over. God, please calm my heart. Help me to trust you. Keep my children safe from this virus. Please allow me to stay healthy so I can take care of my family. Help me to rest at night so I have energy and clarity of mind. Keep me focused on you so I can fill my children and family with encouragement and not panic. Help us not to go weary of one another while we're home for who knows how long. Show me how to make the most of my time. Disciple my family and myself with a new urgency. Hear our prayer. God, you are a provider. Everything we have comes from you. Right now I feel like everything is being taken from me. I've been laid off from work. I can't make money. How will we pay our bills? How will we feed our family? I'm usually the strong one. But even now I feel anxiety. Please be with us. Please help me to point my family to you, even though I feel so lost and confused. Help me demonstrate trust in you to my family. Give me the discipline to leave my family in worship since we can't gather with the rest of our church family. Give me peace. Use this time to help us learn new things about each other, about ourselves and about you. I place my trust in you. Help me to demonstrate to my family so that they feel safe during this crazy time. Hear our prayer. This time, Living Waters, we also raise our voices in prayer. Pray for encouragement for Sherry, healing for Doris, Dane, Lennon, Jean, and Nanette. We pray for encouragement for Tina, and patience for all of us.
pray for healing for Bob, who is in the hospital, not with corona, but uh, the family's concerned about his health. Please be there with him and give him peace and be with the family and calm their fears. Pray for Joe, that God restore him to good health, that he have free days free of pain. Pray for Aaron, both Aaron's, and for healing for each of them. Continue to pray for Willie, for Mark, for Connor, Leon, and all those that need your healing in this uncertain time. Holy God, we pray with our voices. We hear the voices that cannot be represented with us today. And we ask that you speak to us all in a voice that speaks to our hearts, that resonates with truth, love, hope, and peace. Amen. Thank you again for joining us in prayer this evening. Uh, tomorrow, Lee will be leading. It'll be Friday, so she'll be leading prayers. Um, so please join her for that at 618, and then I'll be back with you on Saturday. So have a good night.